first let me show you the Dark Knight um, bat pod here. Um, I'm not going to take it fully out of its packaging because I'm going to put it back in its packaging and when I get a shelf for my Blu-rays this thing go on top. But uh, I know this camera really does suck because it's not my phone but this is the bat pod from the Dark Knight and then this is where the um, this comes off. That's where the discs go. Um, I actually uh, I had the DVD version of this so I, I, I had the case and this is the cover and what I did was I put the DVD versions of the movies in plastic cases and and here what looks like the DVDs is actually the Blu-rays um, I'm assuming it's the same content because um same disc cart and everything like identical discs except for the DVD it says DVD on them so uh Dark, dark, dark Knight Blu-rays are in here. Uh, this does come with a digital copy. Um, it's essentially um, the two-disc DVD version. The the um, essentially the only two-disc version that there is, except for it's three discs because on the DVD two-disc, the digital copy is on the second disc that's special features. On this version, um, the digital copy is by itself, so it's a physical disc. So you get three in total. But that's the Dark Knight uh, Bat Pod. And I'll be right back with Batman Begins. And here is Batman Begins on blue. Um, there's only one version of the Batman Begins on blue. Well, there's a couple versions like disc set versions. But I mean uh, versions versions. Like uh, the, our movie versions. There's only one. While the normal DVD slip cover is two discs, um, this is one disc, but it, is, it has every single, I'm reading off the back of both, it pretty much has every single special feature. I just, I assume BD is one disc because uh, Blu-ray can actually hold more per disc than DVD, so that's why it's just one disc, but it's just one disc, nothing else, for $9.99. There you go. Hey everybody, um, now here's a story if you do care. Um, I've never really been a Batman um, fan, but uh, I remember my mom many, many, many years ago written me um, the DVD version of Batman Begins, and I absolutely loved it. I thought it just was a, a real, genuine, real take on a uh, classic superhero. And I think, um, out of all superheroes, I relate to Batman the most because he's the one that doesn't have a superpower. He just wants to make a difference. And he has the money and the will to make a difference. Um, but that's my why I got into this new Batman. I actually went and saw The Dark Knight at midnight uh, in IMAX a couple years ago. And I will be seeing The Dark Knight Rises uh, at midnight and uh, probably IMAX 3D if they, if they have it. But uh, I, I told myself, I swore, my, I swore myself I would never double dip. Um, meaning uh, if I had it on DVD, I'd never get them on Blu-ray. And um, some of my favorite films, uh, you know, I I've had for a while now, and uh, I only recently got into Blu-ray the past like two years. So if these films were out before about two years ago, I have them on DVD. There's still a few more. There's the first Iron Man that I'm looking to get on Blu-ray, and there's the first Transformers that I'm looking to get on Blu-ray, just because there's some films I think that I have in my DVD collection that I, that will look better on Blu-ray, considerably better on Blu-ray. And uh, The Dark Knight and Batman Begins was uh, two of those, as well as those others I mentioned. Um, I never would have double dipped, and technically I didn't double dip because uh, the Batman Begins two-disc DVD and The Dark Knight two-disc DVD were both given to me as Christmas presents from my mom a couple years ago. You know, different Christmases, but a couple years ago, so. She bought those, so, and I bought these blues. So technically, I didn't double dip. It's not out of my own money. For all you, for all those that care, I know you guys don't care. But um, the reason why um, I got Batman Begins on blue and The Dark Knight on blue, especially in that special packaging, is because um, I'm a frequent uh, lurker poster at uh, Blu-ray.com, and uh, 
there was a thread and the TV deals and movie deals that Blockbuster, you know, was having that 5 for 20 previously reviewed Blu-rays and also um, that uh, uh, a lot of their uh, new Blu-rays or the Blu-rays that were still packaged were uh, considerably cheaper. Um, I went in and I saw the Batman. Uh, I, I knew that Batman Begins and the Dark Knight were 9.99 each, and there's nowhere where you can get them for 9.99 each. Uh, I could have at Best Buy about a month ago, but I didn't jump on the chance to do that. Did it now. Um, maybe eventually I'll find Batman Begins cheaper, probably on Black Friday. But I'm just happy I have them both on Blu-ray for 9.99 each for a total of like 21 dollars. Uh, yeah, I got that. And the reason why I got the Bat Pod was. Um, What's weird is the same exact version, just Blu-ray form for The Dark Knight, same slip color, same everything, um, was $12.99, but the Bat Pod was $9.99. Um, as far as I know, um, please uh, tell me if I'm wrong. I would like to know if I'm wrong. Um, there are, um, they are essentially the same version of the film. It's the film plus bonus features. I do know that there's slight differences like uh, behind the tech of Batman and like behind the mask or something um, that's uh, exclusive to that Bat Pod uh, but uh, I think everything else is essentially on the DVD version and you know in the long run it really doesn't matter because I'm probably going to end up just keeping the DVD versions as backups um, or at least keeping the bonus features as backups so I if it's a bonus feature missing on either version Blu-ray, I, I I have it on the DVD. But uh, I would like to know from you, if you do know, is the Bat Pod just essentially the two-disc DVD version just in Blu-ray format and in, in, in different packaging um, versions-wise? I know it has two extra features on it, but please let me know um, if you compare them or you know of a website can, that can compare them. Um, but yeah. That's my story. I, I didn't personally double dip, um, but I, I thought that these movies deserved to be on blue. Um, sorry for the crappy quality of showing the Bat Pod. I know these are relatively older movies, so most there's most reviews on, online already. I'm gonna wait till I get a shelf um, and put my Blu-rays on, and then put the Bat Pod on top. I don't have any other special versions of films, um, but. Uh, the reason why it was $9.99 as opposed to the subcase that was $12.99 the lady was telling me at Best Buy was because um, when The Dark Knight first came out, uh, n nobody could keep in stock the Bat Pod version. They were just selling out like crazy. But then uh, manufacturers just, kind of just was like, oh, they're selling out like crazy, so let's send more and more and more. And eventually that fad died down and people just bought you know, the slipcover or the one disc or whatever. So pe pe stores were stuck with surplus of the Bat Pods. So that's why the Bat Pod was the three hours cheaper. And she was telling me, you know, if you're on the fence, it's the exact same film, um, same bonus features and everything. It's just in a different packaging, and it's three hours cheaper. So I went and I did that. So I got the Batman Begins and the Dark Knight on Blu-ray. Um, sorry for that whimpering. It's my dog walking away. He, he's very vocal at his young age. Um, so, uh, again, I would really like to know... Uh, uh, specifically on the Dark Knight, if they're, uh, if the Bat Pod is considerably a lesser version than if I were to get the sleep, uh, slipcase. Please let me know. Thanks. Bye.